off is Charles J. And just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to St. Burke. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have turkey me. What it do, what it do, it's 903 Boxing, I'm your host, Charles J. Okay, um, I did my post-fight thoughts, um, yeah, um, Vasily Hatik Lomachenko, uh, Vasily, uh, the Matrix Lomachenko, Vasily White Jesus Lomachenko, uh, has activated his white privilege card, yeah, that's what I think. Um, I think he's very smart. I think he has learned the American way. And I think he know what to do and how to do it. Um, you know, I just got to talk about it um, before I could ever get to Lomachenko. Because I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a definitely explain why I'm making this video. Why I'm making this video. But I got to say something about fans. Um, casual fans specifically. Uh, you motherfuckers, a, a little advice to you. When you watch a fight, especially on top rank. Because, and, and even uh, Showtime, uh, most of the time they have a bunch of biased analysis, analysis um, uh, I mean analysts, uh, most of the time it's, white, uh, it's a bunch of white guys and it's one or two black dudes that's there to be puppets. Like Tim Bradley. Tim Bradley went crazy every time Loma landed anything. When Devin landed anything, he didn't say nothing. Tim Bradley, his hopes and dreams was for Loma to win that fight, and he and he pushed the narrative. A lot of times, if you watching a fight and you listen to the narrative being pushed, yeah, kind of like uh, Wild and Fury. Look at the narrative. Fury got up. Oh, but he got up. Oh, and when he got up, he fought back. But nobody said why well, to put his ass down in the twelfth round. That motherfucker power carried to the twelfth round, and he and had him had him laid out. Had him late. Why the the credit was Fury getting up. The credit was Jack Reese. Jack Reese is a Hall of Fame uh, referee. Now that motherfucker would be considered the greatest referee of all time. So it's all about narrative. It's how you look at it. And the uh, and Top Rank and PBC they narrated the Fatback Fury fight as Fatback Fury got up from that abandoned building when he was drinking Cold Forty Five and snorting powder every day, and he got up. From that, and then he trained, lost three hundred pounds. A uh, fought Wilder, got up in the twelfth round. That that was the story. It wasn't that Wilder shit. Wilder really stopped him. That fight should have really been. That was not the narrative. So, a lot of times it's about narrative. So, uh, casual fans, um, yeah, just sometimes watch the fight without listening to the uh, the narratives because a lot of times these companies have their own. Top rank and ESPN wanted Loma to win that fight. Hands down. Oh, by the way, old Bob Brown, that's a sneaky motherfucker. You know, and I got some more videos coming about old Bob and, and shit he did with Ali and a lot of shit that went on with Ali that a lot of people don't talk about. Um, Yeah. Yeah, the way he did Ali, a lot of people don't talk about that. But anyway, uh, I saw your Bob, uh, Turkey Neck Bob, uh, long, uh, long, strong, squid with nose Bob. Anyway, um, I saw you, bro. He pulled Loma over, and you won that fight. You won that fight easily. You easily won the fight. And, and Loma looked at him and winked his eye. I said, "Oh yeah, boy, that's cold." Let me tell you something. That that that's being on cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah yeah. That is being on cold. And one thing about Bob, Bob gonna stay on cold. And um, yeah. He gonna stay on cold, so I just want you to let you know. So, like I said, all that shit, how Bob was trying to uplift Dev and act like he was really for Dev. I knew the play. I knew the play all along. But anyway, I just had to point that out. But back to you, Loma. This is why I'm making a video about you. Listen, I was prepared to give you credit after credit after credit after credit. But no, I'm like, I'm, I, I, see, I'm, I'm a rebellious motherfucker, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna treat things according to how the system treated. So, um, it's been publicly now, and the narrative is that you won the fight, and the whole narrative, it ain't that it was a great fight, and all oh, fans, we got what we deserve, we got a great fight, oh man, it was a good fight, man, Devin got hard, nobody, nobody ain't saying that, remember how chinny you motherfucker said he was, Devin ain't got no chin, well, we found out last night he do, uh, yeah, yeah, we found out a whole lot of shit, 
Uh, we found out when Devin was landing them body shots, um, Loma was wincing every time he got hit with a right hook to the body or a left hook to the body. And he was backing up and he had to reset every time he got hit. But we said he never had no power. We said he can't keep nobody off him. But he kept making Loma back up every time he hit him to the body. Uh, he got hit with flush shots from Loma. I've seen Loma hurt just about every opponent he's fought. He didn't hurt Devin last night. We say he ain't got no chance. So, I mean, like I said, it's a lot of narratives we could have pushed. We could have said, damn, Devin got more heart than I thought he had. Because he had to be a dog that night. Loma would have beat most fighters. Loma would have made, Loma the kind of fighter, he can make you fall in there. He can overwhelm you with combinations and shit like that. He can overwhelm you. Devin showed his grit, bro. He bit down. Not only that, let me tell you the story of the fight. Before I get back to you, Loma. The story of this fight. Oh, bro, you can call it high. It was it was highly competitive. Uh, like I said, I had it 8-4. You could call it 7-5. Either one of them. But I had Devin winning. I, I clearly saw that Devin was winning. I just seen it as a competitive fight. But this is what hands down won Devin the fight. Let me tell you something. Loma had a good-ass 11 round. He had a good 10th round, too. But he had a real good 11 round. Real good 11 round. Um... Uh, let me tell you something. The 12th round, people don't talk about it. And this is why Teofimo, uh, in my opinion, won the fight with Loma. Because Teofimo won the 12th round. He he dominated the 12th. Just like Devin. Devin won the 12th round. You have to dominate. That Those are the most important round. The 12th round, I feel like if, if, if Loma had a completely dominated the 12th round, it probably would have been a draw or some shit like that. But I still didn't see him winning. Even if he had won the 12th round, I don't see you winning the fight. I, I give Loma four rounds. Five at the most. Four rounds. He had four good rounds. The 11th round, the 10th round, the third round. And one of them other little swing rounds I could give him. I got it 8-4. Devin. So, what I'm saying is, when you talk about all this shit, um, and all this matrix, and all these amateur pedigrees, and all this experience, the experience, your experience should have got you through that 12th round. You should have dominated. You should have came out in that 12th round and went for broke. Don't get it twisted. You put up a hell of a f performance. You bit down. You made Devin work. You made him work for that shit. But you didn't bite down in the twelfth round. You didn't do it, bro. That's the most. That's what veterans do. You were supposed to come out in that twelfth round, bro. Like it was the first. You were supposed to come out and go for broke to make it no. There would be no argument, bro. I won this fight. Nah, you didn't do that. Devin dominated the twelfth round. Dominated, and he bit down. So, um, let's talk about why I'm making this video. For one, after the fight, um, you did tip the typical shit you do. Um, you said you won the fight, and you said, um, what did you say? Uh, uh, Devin Haney, I, I thought he'd be better. You you said you you thought he'd be better because you was playing for the crowd, bro. It, 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 and, and it's so amazing that we was in Las Vegas, uh, Devin's hometown. I'm going to mention it again. When Devin landed shots, the crowd said nothing. When Loma landed, the crowd went crazy. And he's not even from here. So I'm just showing you the racism that you motherfuckers don't even acknowledge or even get offended. How can you not get offended with a motherfucker booing you in your own hometown and cheering from a, for a fighter that's from a whole nother country? <laughs> anyway, uh... <coughs> When you said Devin is not pound for pound, when you said that shit right there, that's what let me know you was a hater, bro. And you was a, you was a real white boy. That, that's when I knew. I said, oh, no, nah, he's slick. He know his shit. He know his history. He know a lot of shit. Yeah, he know he know all about a lot of shit. So anyway, um, uh, to say he's not pound for pound, but you just had a close fight. You even said it was a close fight. So somebody to give you a close fight and you talking about you the number one pound for pound fight. And if he gave you a tooth and nail fight, you saying he's not even pound for pound. Well, if he's not even pound for pound, you should have destroyed him within six rounds. If he's not on your level, you should have destroyed him. You should have made you should have destroyed Devin Haney if he's not nowhere near on your level. They still call you the pound for pound fighter. If he's not on your level, you should have put him away. You should have destroyed him. He shouldn't have won three rounds. If you that good and he's not that good. Nah, I think you're a very good fighter. Devin was just better. And I'm finna tell you something that's gonna make all you motherfuckers swallow your blunt. Or put your blunt out. and uh, Make you motherfuckers stutter and do a lot of shit. Make you motherfuckers. Listen. 
Nobody talks about this. When when Floyd F- Floyd the same age Loma is when he fought Canelo, and Devin the same age Canelo was when he fought Floyd. Canelo lost damn near every round, and and we babied him. Oh, he's just too young. It was just the experience of Floyd. Nobody's saying it. Devin the same age. Devin twenty four years old. Nobody's and Devin won. And, and he didn't get beat no 11, 12 rounds like Canelo did. And it's no diss to me, but I just got to point out how you motherfuckers baby certain fighters. Yeah, I just got to point that shit out. You motherfuckers. And nobody's saying, Devin Young, he ain't even in his prime yet and beat Loma. He ain't even in his prime. He's young, very inexperienced. Nobody's saying, nobody's saying, man, Devin Haney, he's very inexperienced, but he found a way to win. Nobody's talking about he's too young. So that's another thing I got to point out. And finally, Loma, when you cried in that locker room, oh boy, that was that was the American cry. Yeah, 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 you cried a goddamn river. Uh, when you done that, I said, yeah, he a white boy heart. Yeah, at this point, you're not a Ukrainian. You American white boy. Uh, yeah, you. Let me tell you something. I bet you didn't study some Jim Crow shit. You didn't study a lot of shit. You didn't read about Willie Lynch and a lot of other shit. <laughs> yeah, you getting in tune with your uh, ancestors and shit. Uh, Bob done taught you the game and shit Oh yeah you was a real white boy And I gotta give you credit for it And you know how to play on the fans and shit like that And say that shit But the discredit Devin after he gave you a tooth and nail fight Bro that was just fake Even if you think you won the fight Everybody knew it was close So to say he's not a good fight And he's not He gave you hell tonight bro He gave you hell last night So A lot of fakeness uh, Oh nothing uh, Shakur uh, I said a lot of shit about you um, But I'm just gonna say this bro And I just don't care uh, How it sound um, Listen I lost respect for you bro and, 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 and It ain't that you trying to be a Puerto Rican That ain't the reason uh, I told you I had let that shit ride I tried to lie for you Oh, Shakir just playing the, It's the media doing it to him It's Jay Prince trying to make him be a Puerto Rican No, but you chose to wear that flag And you said you're going to be the next You waited till you was 22 years old To decide to be a Puerto Rican You've been black your whole life And and and, and you wait till you 23 years old That's, That remind me of Wayne When he waited till he was 22 to become a blood That's a lot of shit I could say about you bro. I've been trying to take up for you But why I ain't going to take up for you And the reason why I'm going to get you Is because I feel like you did some hating ass shit I feel like you did some hating that shit because it's one thing to think Loma won the fight. And then you said eight four. You said Loma won eight eight rounds to four? Devin only won four rounds? And then you said Devin ain't got nothing for you. And when you said I feel bad for Loma, that's bro, you went too far. How can I feel bad for somebody who lost in a close fight? You feel bad for Loma? That's when I knew you were playing for the camera, bro. At this point, you just willing to... I'm telling you, you're going to have bananas coming out your uh, trunks uh, in your next fight. It's going to be a lot of shit. You're going to play for the camera. And you know what you really is, bro? You that brother that's jealous when a, you see another brother in a shiny car with some shiny rims and his shit a little shinier than yours. See, you ain't never fought on pay-per-view. I just, I just got to point that shit out. <laughs> uh, another thing, uh, you wanted the Loma fight, but you didn't get it. Devin got it, and he's undisputed, and he's defended the titles twice. A lot of shit that you're trying to accomplish that you haven't yet. Because if it was any other fighter, if it was a white fighter, a Mexican fighter, an Asian fighter, like like in a way, like y'all say he's the best fighter in box. When they do it, it's so impressive. You should have stood with your fighter, bro. You've been knowing Devin Haney for years. You don't know this white boy. Yeah, and I'm going to say it like that. You don't know Loma, bro. You and Devin Haney was homies. To shit on him like that. Listen, it's one thing to want to fight him and you competitive. But to shit on his win, bro. You was playing for the camera, bro. There's no way in my motherfucking mind that I believe Shakur really thought Loma won eight fucking rounds. And to say you feel bad for Loma, you's a bitch. And so at this point, uh, the Puerto Ricans, y'all can have them. I wiped my hands with them. Because that was, that was some sucker shit you did. It was some sucker shit, bro. And that was some hating. For some, it'll be a difference. It, listen. I understand most most black fighters ain't on code. And most black fans, most black content, most black people, we not on code. I understand that. I can understand you not being on code. But this is somebody you known for years. This is somebody who y'all actually got love for one another. And y'all seen each other grind and struggle to shit on him at his biggest moment, bro. And let me know you was a hater. And you really was jealous and envious. 
So I had to point that shit out. But yeah, back to uh, White Jesus, Lomachenko, uh, a.k.a. The Matrix, a.k.a. The Great White Hope. Listen, you're a great fighter, bro, but you was beat by a better fighter. And and the scary thing about this, he's not even in his prime yet. He's going to get better. Uh, There's no getting better for you, Loma. That was your best shit. Yeah, that was the best shit you could ever do in your life. <laughs> Listen. That fight last night, that was one of the best performances from Loma. Honestly, that was one of your best performances. But you still lost, bro. Just wasn't quite enough for you. Uh, and it was a younger fighter that wasn't that was very inexperienced. And he beat you, bro. He beat you. And one thing about it, Devin showed everything last night. And you know what he really did? A lot of people think he just abandoned the jab. He wanted to show you, I don't need the jab to beat you, bro. And he didn't outbox you. He fought you. That was a fight, lad. That was not no motherfucking boxing display. He fought you, and he stood in the paint with you, bro. And he took your best shots, and he gave you his best shot. And he hurt you to the body multiple times. Nobody points that out. And we still say he pillow fisted. We still say he got a glass chin. He chin is he still chinny? Is he still pillow fisted after last night? I just want to know. These are a lot of questions I have for you motherfuckers. But anyway, uh, shout out to all the black folks that is keeping it 100. And we standing, uh, even though most of us ain't. Shout out to the ones that are standing up And I ain't finna stand for some bullshit And let you motherfuckers shit on his win But like I said last night Even though I'm standing up for Devin Haney Deep down And I don't care how strong minded you are as a fighter When you get When your hometown boo you like that And cheer for a whole foreign fighter When you know you won that fight And they boo you And don't even give you your respect bro That's a loss Nah, that, that, that's not a win uh, The winner in this whole scenario is Loma Ching He's become, his next fight might be on pay-per-view And Tank might fight him uh, Shakur might fight, all that shit And you know another thing I got for you motherfuckers um, I'm not so convinced that Tank just beats the shit out of Loma And, I'm, and I damn sure ain't so convinced that Because I know you motherfuckers will do that shit Because black black folks, y'all y'all dick ride categories so Shakur Dick Ryder's gonna say, "Oh, bro, uh, he would have destroyed Loma." Oh no, he ain't ready for De Devin. Ain't ready for him. No, but you ain't seen Shakur fight Loma. Also, you gotta understand boxing. Just like when Jimmy Young fought George Foreman, Jimmy Young ain't greater than Foreman, but he got up for that fight. That motherfucker fought the fight of his life against Foreman. So it's a lot of shit. Emmanuel Augustus when he fought uh Floyd, Floyd had to fight him because he got up for that fight. Loma got up for this fight. He got up for this fight And he put on one of his best performances That I've seen in years So to, to just say that Shakur or Tank on the strong Bro get 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 the pacifiers out your mouth You motherfuckers need to get the Kool-Aid off your lips And all this weird shit you motherfuckers do All this weird group up shit you motherfuckers do To hate on another black fighter I wish you motherfuckers group up I wish some of them black fans had a group up And, and goddamn me call some hell Because I'm gonna tell you something If I had been in MGM Grand last night It'd have been at least a couple fights in that motherfucker It'd have been at least a couple squabbles or two Or some shit Because I would have been talking big shit Oh, I, and I know how to talk to make you motherfuckers either be a bitch or fight. See, I got that kind of grizzly Yeah, I say some shit to make you so offended You gonna feel like a bitch if you don't fight so yeah, anyway, man. Anyway, like I said, um, yeah, I just wonder about a lot of those black fans that was from Vegas that done seen him grind and that was in that arena and know he won, that saw him get booed. Did y'all boo with the crowd? I wonder, did you motherfuckers talk shit? Did you, you know, did you, cause, because I know most Mexicans rolled with uh, Loma last night. It was a lot of Mexicans in there and they was cheering every time Loma landed anything. And, and you know what? <coughs> So at this point, in my opinion, I think black fans, majority of them was pretty much riding with Loma. That's how the crowd sounded. Yeah, every time Loma landed anything, the crowd went crazy. You would have thought Loma was in his hometown. But now Devin was in his hometown. So I'm just showing you the hate. And the fact that black folks don't get offended by that. You motherfuckers are monkeys. You motherfuckers are baboons, orangutans, and silverbacks, and chimpanzees. And there ain't enough goddamn bananas in the world to feed you motherfuckers. This is 903 Boxing. I am your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.